What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be changing the bumper on my 2014 Chevy Silverado. I bought this one off a guy on Facebook Marketplace and the upper bumper cover. They're both real dirty right now. They're going to clean up nice. But I tried on my last video, you guys saw I tried wrapping that. Didn't work out too well. Thought I was going to keep it, but I saw that on Facebook Marketplace, so I just bought it. It was 200 bucks, so I'm probably going to end up just selling these ones, get some of my money back. So that's what I'm going to do today. Take this upper bumper cover off because I've tried painting this and it didn't turn out too well either. This was originally the textured black, just like these uh, headlight trim right here. So now that I have original gloss black painted one, and this is actually a chrome bumper with a black gloss black cover on it. I'm going to get that off, get these on. So stay tuned. All right, to take this uh, upper bumper cover off. You just need to take this bolt out and this one up here. You need an extension and a seven millimeter. show you guys what to do after these two bolts on this side and the exact same on the other side and then this thing just snaps right off all right it's super windy out today so I gotta be quick but once you get those bolts out you basically just snap pull that out on both sides and then this thing's just gonna pull right out the cl these clips right in here are the hardest ones to get to. You just kind of, I, I start at the edge here and just pull sh straight out, kind of down and out sometimes. These ones, they're hard to get. I don't know if I can even do it with one hand. One second. Okay, now I need to take these off. These lights off. All right, to get to the bolts that we need to take out, we have to take the grill out as well. So we have to take this top cover off first. You just pop out all of these little holder clip holders i forget what they're called pop rivets whatever there they are right there you pop all them out take this off and then this one comes out this one these four bolts up here and then there's four in here in here going straight in hold it in once those eight bolts come out this grill just comes out and then we can get to the bolts for the bumper. Okay, so once these bolts are out, the grill just snaps right out. Try to do it with one hand. Yep, just like that. Set this over to the side. Now we have to take out this bolt, those two down there, this one, and the ones down there, right there, I'm pointing to. I think just those ones? Pretty sure. So you're gonna need a size 18. Who are you barking at? I'm gonna go get my impact gun. 
All right, let's take these out. So it looks like to remove this bumper, it's just these four up top, and then that one right there, and then the same one on the other side. All right, got the old one off. Just put the new one on. I didn't bolt it up yet, but you can see it was just these six bolts, four up top, one, two, three, four, and then one on each side. You can see the old one right here. Just took it off. It looks really good. All right guys, just got the new bumper on and she's looking really nice. A lot better than the crappy vinyl wrap job that I did. A little walk around truck needs washed but I just wiped this down real quick just to show you guys looking pretty nice <clears throat> now I can sell my other bumper and uh, the upper bumper cover I just took my tires and wheels to the shop today so that will be probably my next video or at least it's coming soon But I'm really happy with this gloss black look. I've wanted this for a long time and it's really expensive if you want to buy that gloss black upper bumper brand new. And it's like 255 bucks for that cover. So I got a deal for 200 bucks. That's all I have for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a simple bumper replacement, real easy. But that's it. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Peace.